in the last video, we proved uh, the sum of the first n natural numbers. That means if we want to add from 1 to n, n is the nth term of uh, the natural numbers. The formula is s times s is equal to n times n plus 1 over 2. And uh, I proved it starting with this formula that is n squared minus n minus 1 squared. So we want to prove now in this video, how would you find, or well, what's the formula to find the sum of squares of the first n natural numbers? So let me erase this. Okay. Okay, so I gave you the hint in the last video that this is how you start the formula. So let me delete this and also delete this. Delete. Okay. So let me write the formula again. N cubed minus N minus 1 cubed. So we are defining S as 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared plus N squared. So we start with like this. So we know uh, we'll have to simplify this. N cubed minus N minus 1 the whole cube. So this is equal to N cubed minus n minus 1 times n minus 1 the whole cube. So this is n cubed minus, you can also use the binomial formula, which is n minus 1 times the square n minus 1 squared is n squared minus 2n plus 1. Okay, so I will leave for you to expand this, and I say sim expand and simplify expand and simplify this, you will have n cubed minus 3n squared plus 3n minus 1. You can also use the binomial expansion formula to get this. Okay, so if you expand this further, this is n cubed minus n cubed, because n minus is sitting out, you will have plus 3n squared minus 3n plus 1. Okay, so here, let's, so we can say n cubed minus n minus 1, the whole cube, is equal to 3n squared, because this and this get cancelled. So this is 3n squared minus 3n plus 1. We're going to use the same strategy. Okay, so this is the formula, and this is what we're going to use. Okay, now using this formula, let us put start with n as 1. If n is 1, I can write 1 cube minus 0 cube. n minus 1 means 1 less than n. So if n is 1, n minus 1 would be 0. So 1 cube minus 0 cube, which you know is 1, would be 3 times 1 squared minus 3 times 1 plus 1. Does it make sense? So this is 3 minus 3 gets cancelled. This is 1. What if it is 2 cubed minus 1 cube? We know the answer is 8. Does it uh, uh, sit here properly? So this is your n is 2 here. So this is 3 times 2 squared minus 3 times 2 plus 1. My 2 looks a bit awkward. 3 times 2 plus 1. So let's confirm. So using bed math, this is 4 times 3 is 12. 12 minus 6 is 6, plus 1 is 7. That also is working. So if it is 3 cubed minus 2 cubed, which is 27 minus 8. 27 minus 8 is 19. I think so. So which is 3 times 3 squared minus 3 times 3 plus 1. Okay, so this is 27 minus 8. This is 27 minus 8. Okay, so if you continue this pattern, we can write n cubed minus n minus 1, the whole cube, you already know the formula, it would be 3 times, 3 times n squared minus 3 times 1 plus 1. So now we're going to add all these terms. 
So going to add this plus this plus this. Okay, adding the whole thing. So if you add the whole thing, what will happen? This plus one cube and minus one cube will get cancelled. The plus two cube and minus two cube will cancel. This plus three cube, and you'll have a minus three cube sitting here. And you'll have minus n cube, and this you'll have n minus one sitting here. What remains is n cube minus zero cube. Would that equal to on the right hand side? You can if you look at this when you add all this, if you add all this, what will happen? You can factor the three out and you have one squared plus two squared plus three squared plus dot 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 plus n squared. And if you factor the minus three out from the next term, you have one plus two plus three plus dot 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 plus n and this would be the adding how many n ones so adding one n lots of one so this is plus n times one okay so we're almost there okay i should have cancelled this this is an example okay so let me delete that okay so now we'll do a bit of algebra now so this is n cube is equal to 3 times s. This is s what we defined. We started with s as one script plus three script plus three script plus n script. So this is 3 times s minus 3 times. This is the sum from 1 to n. In the last video I proved the formula for this is n times n plus 1 over 2 plus n times 1 is n. So we can say n cube is equal to 3s minus 3n and just simplifying this times n plus 1 over 2 plus n. So I'm going to make this the subject. So, so I can say this is n cube. I'm taking away n from both sides. So we have n cube minus n squared and adding this to both sides so uh, we'll have 3n times n plus 1 no this is n cube so this is n cube minus n okay. plus taking add uh, taking away n from this side you'll have have minus n and if you add this to this side, you have to add to this side. So this would be plus 3n times n plus 1 over 2 is equal to 3s. So let's simplify this a little more. So what can we do here? Can we factor n here? If you factor n out, we'll have n squared minus 1 plus 3n times n plus 1 over 2 is equal to 3s. So again, I can factorize this. So this is n plus 1 times n minus 1 plus 3n times n plus 1 over 2 is equal to 3s. Okay, so what can we do? What can we factor out? You've got n plus n times n plus 1 sitting here, and you've got n times n plus 1 sitting here. So if you factor the n times n plus 1 out, we'll have n minus 1 from here, plus 3 over 2 is equal to 3s. Okay, so what will happen? So this is n times n plus 1. Now, I want, uh, I want a 2 here of, so can I write this as 2? 2 times n minus 1 over 2 plus 3 over 2 is equal to 3s. So this is n times n plus 1 times 2n minus 2 plus 3 over 2. Making the common denominators and adding the numerators. Okay. 
we're almost there, so this is n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1. 2n plus 1 is equal to 3n. Now divide it over 2, of course. Now dividing both sides by 3, you can write n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 over 6 is equal to s. So this is a very neat formula. You want to add from one square to any number of squares to say even 100 squared, you can find it so easily. So let's take this formula. So let me rewrite the formula. S is equal to n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 divided by 6 is the formula to add from 1 squared to n squared. So let us add from 1 squared to 10 squared. So let's take an example. You want to add from 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared. I want to add up to 10 squared. So my n is, n is 10 here. So let me add it, use the formula here. So n is 10 because I'm adding up to 10 squared. So your s would be 10 times 10 plus 1 is 11 times 2n plus 1 is 21. 2 times 10 is 20 plus divided by 6. So let me simplify this. So this is 2 times 5 times 11 times 3 times 7 over 6. I don't want to use calculator as far as possible. So this is 2 times 3 is 6, and the 6 gets cancelled. So this is 55 times 7. 55 times 7 is 350 plus 350 plus 35, which is 385. So if you add from 1 squared to 10 squared, you get 385. So let us uh, use a calculator. Okay, so uh, okay, so you can check that yourself. If you add from 1 squared to 10 squared, your answer would be 385. Now I want to give, give you a challenge. I will make this video if you can't do it. What if you have, you want to add from 1 cube to n cube? 1 cube plus 2 cube plus 3 cube. You want to add up to n cube. The s would be, this is something that I want you to prove it to yourself, would be n times n plus 1 divided by 2 the whole squared. If you add from 1, if you want to add from 1 cube to n cube, the sum, the formula would be n times n plus 1 divided by 2 the whole squared. 